Hi, this is Madhurita, and welcome to the Independence Day special on Zoom with the lovely Asan. Welcome, Asan. Thank you so much. Like today's Independence Day, tell me what does freedom mean to you? Freedom to me, I guess, is uh, my right to express myself the way I want to, mm -hmm. to speak my mind, to do the things that I want to do without, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. I guess that's freedom to me. Yeah. Just but to I live my life the way I want to. Yeah, I guess. But are you a free spirit at heart? I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all of my friends call me a little mad. Uh, quite a free spirit, mm -hmm. but I guess I have these different aspects of mine, yeah. which, according to situation or people, you know, um, I adopt. But in your growing up days, have you ever felt in any situation that you want to break free? Um, not really, because you know, thankfully, my parents have brought me up with a lot of freedom and very independently. Uh, I'm the only child, but it's not that I've been, you know, like a smothered with affection or I've kind of been uh, living in a bubble. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had a lot of friends, and mine, uh, although my immediate family is just dad, mom, and myself, right. uh, whole loads of cousins. And um, so I guess there was one big gang, and um, I had the freedom to like uh, do what I wanted, mm -hmm. and I, I was never like, nothing was imposed upon me. Talking about freedom in Bollywood. Okay, what do you think Bollywood should free itself of? Free itself of? Yeah. I think piracy for mm -hmm. starters. I think that would help the industry quite a bit. Besides that, I think uh, a little bit less of egos would be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> As a woman, what really liberates you? You know, that moment where you feel that I'm free. Well, I feel that I'm a very uh, strong, independent, confident mm -hmm. young woman of today's times. But I think generally for women in general, um, what liberates them or what makes them stand up uh, proudly and independently on their own is probably emotional independence as well as financial independence. Mm -hmm. I think these two are very important factors for uh, young women to keep in mind. And it is a very good time for women in Bollywood. Mm. The kind of, you know, roles they're getting, they're taking centre stage. Mm. And in fact, Karina recently said that it's time that women get, you know, actresses demand as much money, mm. uh, a higher price as the mm. actors. Mm. So, what do you think about that? Well, the uh, situation hopefully is changing and changing for the better. Mm -hmm. I hope it changes uh, at a much faster, rapid rate. Um, you know, so far our society has been a male-dominated society, frankly the industry speaking. too largely, yeah. The yeah. art reflects life and therefore yeah. the industry too, you know, has, yeah. has been male-dominated. Do uh, and if you look at the pay packets and whatever that you were yeah. mentioning. Yeah. So it's been like that. Um, uh, hopefully it changes as regards to even the story-wise, the content, uh, how much of a importance a female protagonist gets in a film, uh, characters written for her. Um, I guess those things are changing. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, financially also, I hope yeah. things uh, <laughs> improve for the female. Yeah. actresses. It's not been very long for you in Bollywood, but still you have 200 crore films to your credit. Four. Four, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, right, four, yeah. Um, yeah, um, which is kind of satisfactory. I didn't expect it because, you know, you don't come in expecting to mm. break all records, you just come in expecting to do well. Yeah, but in those films, you weren't really sent to stage. Mm. So, didn't that bother you somewhere? It does bother me. Yeah. I mean, uh, initially, not now. Mm -hmm. uh, as in, um, my strategy, I, I guess, would be to connect to the maximum number of people and the, and the kind of choices I've made have uh, kind of established that and have, uh, you know, uh, made that possible. Mm -hmm. But going on, I think once if you, you've had your hits, you've had your numbers, uh, you know, you've had your whatever is 100 yeah. crore, uh, so-called benchmark that is happening these days, then I think you need to now, uh, you know, look forward to uh, roles which are a bit better written. You know, there is a Khan craze in Bollywood. Mm. Everyone wants to, like, mm. be paired with the Khans and you have been too. But how far would you go? Like, there's some people who say that we're just okay doing a dance number just to be with, in a Khan film. So would you just settle with that? I, I think it really depends on the stages of their careers and their priorities mm -hmm. and what they've done so far. So I think if, if it's something that you've not done before and you would really want to work with, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a Khan, then, you know, you might be okay with doing just a song. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess it really depends on the person who is uh, saying it and who wants to do it yeah. and the career graph so far and their choices. And you know, being a kind of outsider, like you were saying, you weren't really part of the Bollywood industry. Didn't you find comfort zone in any camp? Doesn't no, it not really. I have uh, completely remained neutral. Huh. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I belong to any camp. I've done two films with Salman, I've done two films with uh, Ajay, I've done, I'm doing two films with uh, Akshay. Akshay yeah. uh, I did a film with Amir. I, I've not really restricted myself to any one camp. I, yeah. I have a fabulous rapper with all of them. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I'm not kind of affiliated to any one camp. But wouldn't it be easier if you just had that a godfather, so to speak? Yeah, I, but uh, yeah, I guess it would be easier if you had a grandfather, godfather or a millionaire boyfriend. <laughs> 
boyfriend in the industry. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad that I've made it without any mm. of those things. Yeah. Yeah. You know, apparently we had the story about how Anushka Shankar, she, uh, Anushka Sharma, sorry, mm. she bawled after you got the uh, Best Debut Award because the logic okay. was you're from South and you, you were a big star down South. Mm. So what was your reaction to that? Or what is your reaction to that? I don't that? know. This is news to me. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what is your reaction to that? I, I don't know what I'm supposed to react, but... Uh, I mean, it's sad. I mean, when somebody expects something and then you don't get it, I mean, disappointment is an obvious reaction. Uh, we're great friends. I, I, oh, really? Okay, okay. I mean, as in, you know, we don't meet up very mm -hmm. often, but we meet up at functions and events and uh, we're cordial with each other. Um, and I think she's a talented actress. Besides that, um, you know, how... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to react to that, except for the fact that, uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter whether I was working in the South or not. Mm -hmm. To me, this is a debut uh, in a new industry. It's yeah. your first film in a different industry, so obviously it is a debut. Yeah. Okay, tell me, why did you refuse Barfi? Who said I refused Barfi? That's what that that's what was said. No, no comments on that. I think you should ask Anurag. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> we'll take that. But do you plan to work with the young lot, the young guns? I'd love to. Because, you know, uh, although I've been uh, fortunate enough to start with the superstars of, of the industry, um, now I'd, I would be looking at working with, uh, you know, the male stars, uh, male actors who are closer mm. to my uh, generation. Mm. Tell me, Asan, how come you haven't caught on to the item, item girl thing yet? I guess I'd prefer to do movies than just one song. I guess. I love doing uh, songs and dances. I, mm. I'm a dancer myself. I love dancing. Right, yeah. um, I don't know, maybe, you know... It really depends on what comes my way and then I probably weigh uh, my interest towards that. Mm. Um, yeah. We heard that you don't even like the item girl tag. No, I just, the, I, the word item is kind of like item. She's an item <laughs> type. Yeah. <laughs> it's like rather weird. Okay. Yeah. Okay, like, you know, uh, there's this entire, again, you know, that size zero fad that's there in Bollywood. Some is people, it still there? Yeah, I it, doubt. It's still it's there. Of whoever loses weight becomes size zero and the fad is back. So what, what do you think is really sexy? Some say like, okay, Vidya Balan is sexy with all her fat. Some say that no, again, fat is not objective, sexy. So no? what, what is your take on I, that? I think it's again very, uh, like, uh, sorry, it's very subjective. You yeah. know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. So if you like curves, then you like curves. If you don't, you like a size zero figure. Maybe you you like that, but I, I don't think there's one person who can sit and judge that, okay, that's what's right and that's what's beautiful. I mm. think it changes, opinions change. Indian women, I think, look good with curves. Uh, it, it depends on how curvy you have to be, um, you know, the set standard. But uh, it's all body types, you know. Some bodies are made in certain ways and they look good that way rather than changing mm -hmm. into something else. Uh, like if you're thin, maybe you look thin. I mean, maybe you look good thin. And sometimes mm -hmm. if you put on a, a little bit of weight to look curvy, you might that might not suit right. you and vice versa. So I, I really think it's in the eye of the beholder and also what you feel you look best in. Right. How, how different was it working from one Khan and the other? I mean, all of them are very different individuals yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, and with different working styles. So you adapt to that. I'm quite flexible that way. Mm -hmm. um, I have a great rapport with all of them. Um, Shah Rukh, of course, I've not been able to work with. I hope that happens sometime soon. Yeah. Um, but besides that, Salman's very chilled out. Uh, Akshay is more fun, uh, also disciplined and professional. It kind of balances that beautifully. Um, there is Amir who is so involved in the script and so involved in how can you like improve it and make it better, mm -hmm. um, eliciting suggestions from everybody in, mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the team. So I guess everyone has their own working styles and I'm quite comfortable with it, uh, any mm -hmm. of them. Which is the one uh, actor Asan is like dying to romance on screen? My favourites keep changing. Okay, from and film. they were what? <laughs> no, like um, my favorites really keep changing. You know, initially there was Amir and then there's Salman. Mm. Um, current favorite is Akshay. Because not just working with. <laughs> not, no, not just uh, uh -huh. working with. I used to like watching their films. You know, I used to like them when I was uh, growing up. And being from down south, you know, you, you're a big star down there. And you're, you're one here too. Not taking away from that. But don't you ever feel like, damn, I'm not getting my due over here? Um... Yeah, I guess in terms of the kind of roles that uh, are coming my way, mm -hmm. I guess, um, yeah, I, there is much more that I could uh, probably do mm -hmm. in terms of the, the characters, the roles that are that are offered to me. So I guess there is um, much more that I have to explore and much more that I can prove uh, than what is so far uh, shown of me in Bollywood mm -hmm. with the last. It was lovely talking to you, Asan, and thank you for joining us on Independence Day Special on Zoom. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Hi, this is Megha. Follow Zoom TV on Twitter and get Bollywood news and happenings 24-7. Just visit www.twitter.com slash zoomtv.